Shit. What we living for? Living. What we waiting for? What we waiting for? What they hating for? Y'all sick of living for? Now money coming in fast. But still we spending slow. Now money coming in fast. But still we spending slow. What we living for? What we waiting for? What they hating for? Y'all sick of living for? Now money coming in fast. But still we spending slow. Now money coming in fast. But still we spending slow. What we living for? What we waiting for? What they hating for? Y'all sick of living for? Now money coming in fast. Like the record out of Q City World today, we talking about Earl Spence Jr. Telling Mikey Garcia, if you beat Robert Easter, why not make it happen? Like you say, you wanna make it happen. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Let's make this happen. Now we all remember Mikey Garcia saying that he wants smoke. He wanna jump in the motherfucking fire and see if he can be a survivor. He wanna jump off the roof, see if he can land on his feet. Well, let's see if he can do it. I think he's gonna be Robert Easter Jr. I think him going to 140. You know what I mean? I think he can handle AV power. He can handle the last dude who just beat power. I mean, I think this nigga. And then he said he wanna call out Earl Spence Jr. Only thing about this fight. Would it kill the Mikey Garcia versus Lomachenko fight? I mean, if he go up there and get Earl Spence, I told you, the first nigga to make it 12 rounds with Earl Spence is going to get a lot of respect, you know what I mean? Mikey Garcia, I think he's going to get his ass beat by Earl Spence. I think his brother going to stop the fight, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's a fight that's worth seeing, you know what I mean? Mikey Garcia was finna fight Cotto. You know, Mikey Garcia... It's finna fight Luma Check. Oh, Mikey Garcia can fight Tank Davis at 130, probably, man. You know what I mean? Mikey Garcia is changing the motherfucking game. You feel me? He ain't stuck in no one weight division like Earl, like Earl Spence. Earl Spence need to fight in two, three weight divisions, man. He need to fight at 150. 154, man. Oh, at his own catch weight, 152, 153. Canelo Floyd weight. You know, he need to fight. Some of these fighters up there at that weight class. I think Earl Spence versus Kell Brook at 154, 153 would be a great fight. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't even go to 154. I'd fight in my own catch weight, you know, just to bounce back and forth, just to get good fights that's going to get you paid and going to get you where you want to be, man. Because these fighters that he's fighting right now, when he had fight number 40, Sean Porter, it's going to be like, what that do, Shane Mosley. You feel me? He's going to be like Shane Mosley. You know what I mean? Danny Garcia going to be like fucking Marquez or some shit. You know what I mean? These niggas ain't even going to be around. You know what I mean? They're going to be fighting on HBO for free. You know what I mean? They're going to be done with Showtime. These niggas, man, is going to be gone in a little while. You know what I mean? The Terrence Carter fight needs to happen as soon as possible. Because you're not going to be... Having time for Terrence Crawford too much longer. You know, who the fuck Terrence Crawford beat so far, bro? Jeff Horn, I've been thinking about it. Top rank had my ass fooled too. Jeff Horn ain't nobody, man. It was written for Jeff Horn to be fooled for Terrence Crawford in his first fight at 147. You feel me? I still want to see Terrence Crawford fight some PBC fighters, man. Even if he don't fight Earl next or soon, I want to see him fight. Fucking Keith, Keith Diamond. I want to see him fight them niggas first if he don't fight Earl. Now, I want to see him fight some real fighters at 147. Because I've been thinking about top rank. Top rank make motherfucking stars, man. You feel me? Who the fuck is Tim Bradley? Just the nigga that fought Main Pacquiao three times. You feel me? Who the fuck is Marquez? Fool for Floyd and hard competition for Manny Pacquiao. You feel what I'm saying? Jesse Vargas. Chris Algier. All the motherfuckers, names is made off of the one and only Pacquiao. You feel me? Pacquiao has been robbed just to make a name. You know what I mean? He almost stopped Jeff Horn. The referee was in the corner like, do you want me to end it? Do you want me to? I need to stop it if you keep on acting like this. Jeff Horn came back. He did all right. But at the end of the day, nigga bust Pacquiao out here with head bust dude was doing all the dirtiest shit he can do and still was getting his ass beat. If the young Pacquiao would have really beat his ass. The old Pacquiao got mad at him. He was getting hair butted so much. He went off and beat his motherfucking ass, man. But at the end of the day, Jeff Horn robbed him in his country. You know what I mean? And another thing about pay per views, man. Everybody talking about they're going to be the pay per view. Uh, they're going to do 100 million. Nigga, you got to get 40 plus fights. And then you got to be fighting against a fighter from another country, damn near, to really get. To the 4.5 million views and all that, man. 
You ain't gonna get to that that, that many views fighting American versus American, UK fighter versus UK fighter. You feel me? Manny Pacquiao was a world star, man. You feel me? Floyd was a world star, man. You feel what I'm saying? There wasn't no local uh, 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 Dallas versus Oklahoma, bro. And what I said, this fucking fight, Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford is the classic fight, but it's nothing that's going to be the biggest pay-per-view, where it's going to do Pacquiao numbers with Showtime and ESPN. It's going to make uh, 100, 300 million apiece. It ain't going to be that goddamn big, man. It might be as big as the GGG versus Canelo fight, if that. You know, 1.5 million at the most, 2, 2, 2 million. I mean, like, I, I just can't see it. Because I, I see, like, Floyd used to fight fighters that had a country behind them. If you think about it, what the fuck? Canelo really ain't a pay-per-view style like Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? Because when Floyd was pay-per-view, he could fight Robert Guerrero on pay-per-view. Everybody going to watch it. You feel me? He could fight anybody he want to fight on pay-per-view. And they going to watch it. He could fight Andre Berto on pay-per-view. And still going to do it. Make 40 million, you know what I mean? Still gonna do some numbers, you feel me? He gonna do Canelo GGG numbers with them type of fighters. You feel me? He knew to fight fighters from different countries that had a following behind them. Simple as that. I mean, I ain't trying to say I know everything. I'm just saying this is fucking logic that I'm talking, man. You feel me? So don't, don't, don't just, just, just put it like this, man. Eddie Hines is a buster. You know, everybody in the world know. If you don't know, now you know. And if you don't know, maybe you need to subscribe to Q-City World and go back to my old shit because we don't talk about that shit too much no more. You know what I mean? Because the nigga is full of excuses. But at the end of the day, um, your, your dynasty, you guys, you guys, I mean, I think that's a good fight for Earl Spence. I, I want to see him fight him rather than fight Jesse Vargas. Shit, Jesse Vargas ain't got no fucking power. Lamont Peterson ain't got no fucking power. You feel me? They really won 40 fighters, if you ask me. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. You know, they never really did much at 147. You know. And if you want to fight Jesse Vargas, you want to fight her with a name. I mean, Jesse Vargas, um... Jesse Vargas is... Why, why not fight Adrian Bryant then? You know what I mean? Earl Spence versus Adrian Bryant. Call out that nigga. That nigga came... To the fight, man, without no jury on, no earrings. He had a motherfucking Ninja Turtle t shirt on. I don't know what the fuck going on, AB. He really is going through some shit, but we ain't gonna talk about him. You know, I'm gonna leave the nigga alone, man, you know, because they ain't cool. The nigga going through shit, let him go through it. I don't understand why him and Tank Davis still on Twitter, but they still on Twitter, man, because they don't got no real cats around. You feel me? They ain't got no real people around them to be like, yo, bro. You gotta stop. You know, they gonna cut them off if they say some shit like that. So they scared, but real recognize real, real is respecting them long run. Motherfuckers go back, listen to real shit, and respect it. Like, damn, I was some real ass shit. And um, at least I don't make a lot of boxing videos because a lot of shit is going on. I predicted already. You know? Oscar De La Hoya, I heard a video, Oscar De La Hoya said that he gave GGG some money just to go ahead and sign out of his pocket for him to go ahead and sign a contract. Just like I said in my video, I mean, I, I think with logic, I think in the mind of an Oscar retired old, you know what I mean? A retired ass motherfucker, I can go in the mind of their ass, like what would a retired motherfucker do? What would a desperate motherfucker do? You know what I mean? So. You know, I ain't the wisest, I ain't the smartest motherfucker in the world, but a lot of this shit is simple. You know what I mean? Uh, you can read this shit, man. You feel me? This shit is simple as hell, brother. You know, and, and, and I'm tired of these. You know, why? like I said, why not Earl Spence versus Adrian Bronner? But you think about it, Adrian Bronner probably is this nigga brother or some shit. You know what I mean? And you know how brothers don't fight like the Klitschko's. You know what I mean? Just like Shakur Stevenson. You know, I'm not excited about this motherfucker, Shakur Stevenson. He don't even want no smoke with Tank Davis. Nah, Tank. Tank's my brother. Nah, man, my friend, all this brother shit, man. You feel me? All this brother shit. I like Devin Haney, man. He just ain't got his power yet, man. When Devin Haney get about 25, 26, 27, then we finna see some action, man. You feel me? Earl Spence gonna have to worry about Devin Haney and them calling them out. There's a lot of young cats coming up, man. I gotta start getting back into my young cats, man. You know what I mean? Because uh, these niggas is weak. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm looking into the future, man. You feel me? I'm looking into the future, man. And uh, Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Need to happen. And Earl, you need to fight that multi-weight divisions, man. Like Mikey Garcia do. You know? But if Mikey Garcia go up there and beat Earl Spence, Oh my God! I just can't see that happening. I don't know what Mikey doing. I think Mikey crazy, but Mikey is a smart motherfucker. You know what I mean? So I think he he got something up his motherfucking sleeve. But he gonna get wiped out against Earl Spence. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. But um, I want to see Mike Garcia versus Terrence Crawford. Then you know what I mean? That'd be a great fight. But we we'll never see that. You know, it's just crazy out here, man. We just never see certain fights, man. It's depressing, man. I wonder how many people died before the Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao fight. I wonder how many boxing fans didn't live to see that fight. That's sad. All right, thank you guys for coming to QC World. It's been a blast. What we living for? What we living for? What we waiting for? What we waiting for? They hating 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 for?